What are we doing today? We're going to be working on the water tank in the car. So we're obviously going to be installing it. We're going to probably be carpeting it and neatening up a few things in the rear. Yeah, we're going to build a couple yeah. little aluminium brackets out of some plate I got over there. Uh, and yeah, we'll put a little tap in the ball valve on. And yeah, so it was a um, 40 litre tank that... 45. 45, sorry. 45 litre tank that we got off eBay. It's just a poly... Poly mate, I think mate, it was the yeah. company from Queensland. Um, looks pretty good. So it fits nicely over the wheel arch, which is great. Get a little bit extra storage and pretty much just use the space as wisely as we can, really. The whole idea, I guess, behind this. Fit as much as we can into a tiny little space. Yeah. Water tank, 45 litres it is. It's got the checkout to go over the, the back wheel arch. Where are we coming in? Happy about it. <laughs> We've got to see. It's a little bit. So always got to be very cautious about the weight, but try to keep all the weight as long as possible in the car. Because when, you know, we've got to put a rooftop and this and that on it, when you start to put it, then you start to get rock at the top, because you know what I mean? So it was 250 bucks to say delivered, and then I spent another 40 bucks at the plumbing supply. Yeah, no, it'll be good. It'll be good. We're going to carpet it, neaten up a bit, just blend it in with all of the black in the back. <laughs> what do we need to do, babe? Let's, let's get this bloody thing out. Okay, first we need to try to fold up some brackets. Three mil alley plate. So I probably want like a hundred mil up sand on that bracket. Five fifty. It's twenty. We've got a 40 mil upstand there, then we've got 180 mil of this internal, then we've got another 100 mil upstand there. So it's going to go 40, 180, 100. All right, so I'll cut that there, and then we'll divide that into a couple of strips. So I'll fold these up and see how we go. Fold up, do a couple of bits of hardwood and some clamps. Nice. One bend. Can make all eyes made before it can't be Always. Backyard ingenuity. Beautiful. We go like that. That'll get mounted to the car. That's like a little spacer for our upstand of our timber. Sicker sausage. <laughs> Sicker is good stuff. Helps with vibration and that type of thing, stop everything coming loose, especially when you're on the corrugation, so. And it helps the carpet stick through it very well. We're not gonna carpet it in right now, but we will get to that. Alrighty, so we've just mounted the water tank into the car. So obviously these are those brackets that Jazz whipped up earlier. So they're all in now. It's nice, oh, nice and secure. Not gonna go anywhere. 
So we're also going to put this nice timber, the same stuff we've got on here, on the front. I think. Tidy, lefty Lucy. Now yeah, we're just cutting some carpet to cover the grey of the water tank. Down. Cut off. Pretty much what re carpet this whole car. Yeah. Pretty much. Except for the very front, front original. Section, yeah. Steel gears all same, same, all marine carpet. Looks good. It's gonna turn out mint. Yeah. It'll flow in quite nicely, I think. I'll probably put this part on now. Oop. <laughs> Snakey boy. Yeah. Then I dropped it in the dirt. <laughs> it's a lot better, hey? Yeah. See how that comes up a little bit higher now? Perfect. So this is the side panel bit? Yeah. It's just this is the original way out of our first false floor in the back of the 60s. So. Reusing, recycling. recycling. Love that. Uh -huh. Pretty nice the top. We're doing the last little bit of carpet on this little storage section here on top of the water tank. So just big flexing that carpet down. It's coming together really nicely. Starting to really look like a little hope. So we decided that we're going to put a lid on this side, similar to this side. So you're just moving that back now. Oh, I just felt like I just need to come down a couple mil. Yeah. Right. Just going to this.
Maybe I should become a trimmer. <laughs> Flips open, which will be good. Yeah, nice. I like what? it. Yeah, it looks neat on the inside. Huh? Looks good. Yeah. Tight there, but it's kind of good. Help everything. Kind of wear in. Yeah, it's looking mint. Custom made brackets. Apartment. So there's the water tank all installed. Also the compartment. Now this compartment flips up like this and there's lots of storage and space in there to, for us to fit all of our little knickknacks or whatever we yeah. Whatever we figure out we want to put in there. It's all pretty exciting. You still access this easily. And then touch the hose really easily when we pull up somewhere. You can't. So yeah. pretty stoked yeah. with how it's all come together. Um, we, yeah, like I said before, we're going to get some baskets to probably put up here for more storage and free it up a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait till we can actually get on the road and start using all of this. Yeah, it'd be good. Yes. Yes, yeah, can't shoot up for half day job. Yeah. Got plenty of storage now, still got all storage in there. A couple of lids on the marine carpet matches in nicely. Water yeah. tank, fridge is done, 12 volt systems done. Uh, we've got to do some fabrication on building a, oh, a rear bar. A rear bar. So, it's gonna be good. Yes. Get us yeah. out of here. Stay tuned and yeah. Yeah, subscribe to our channel if you like our videos. Um, hopefully they'll just keep getting better and better. <laughs> but yeah, cheers. Bye.